Well, good afternoon, everybody. How y'all doing? Pretty good here, and uh, welcome to the channel. Um, out cruising around, running some errands in the uh, Tacoma Sport, my new Tacoma Sport. And let me get on here and talk about uh, a few of the things I like about this truck. I mean, there's a reason I bought it, right? There must be some things I like about it. Um, first off, I guess, is the appearance. I think uh, in this category, in this size truck, that it is uh, one of the best, if not the best looking trucks on the road. Um, I like the stance of this truck. I like the design uh, as far as the aesthetics of this truck. Um, the hood scoop that's on the Sport, that's one of the reasons I went with the uh, the Sport as opposed to the off-road from an aesthetic standpoint. Um, I love that hood scoop, although it's fake, it's okay. Uh, I think it looks pretty nice on this truck. Uh, the color, I have the blazing blue, uh, which I think uh, suits this truck uh, probably the best. I do like the Inferno. Uh, and the red as well, but uh, this blazing blue color on this truck is uh, is pretty eye-popping, I think. I really like that. Um, the V6 engine that's in the truck, I would never get a truck that has a four-cylinder, first of all. Um, I do prefer an eight-cylinder in bigger trucks, but I think the, uh, the six-cylinder that's that's in this truck is just right. You know, there's enough power in this truck that it can get out of its own way, which is always reassuring. Um, <clears throat> but not so much that, uh, you know, it gets like two mile a gallon, you know? So I think that's a good mix uh, between power and economy in, uh, in a pickup truck, if you care about those kind of things. Um, I like the way that it sits. It's high enough uh, at the moment I would like to make it a little higher. Um, that you feel like you're in a truck, that you're up in the air, that you can see everything, and that's one of the attractions of trucks for me anyway, uh, is to be able to see everything that's around as opposed to, you know, being really low to the ground um, in a normal car. The comfort of this thing is, uh, is also top notch. Um, it does have lumbar support, for the driver, cloth seats that uh, so far I find to be pretty darn comfortable. You know, they don't feel flat on the bottom. There's enough padding in them that uh, that they feel good, um, and I like that. The cabin noise in this truck, and this was surprising to me. I uh, I had no idea, but it is very quiet inside the cabin of this truck. I've had a couple of other people comment uh, on that as well, you know, how quiet uh, the inside of this truck is. It's really quite amazing. I was, uh, I was surprised. I wasn't expecting that uh, at all. Uh, the front end of this truck, uh, I recently added a uh, TRD Pro grill to the front of this truck, so now I think it looks fantastic. Uh, wasn't real keen on the, the chrome insert that was there before, but now it looks great. Um, as far as the uh, the storage and all that kind of stuff with this truck, uh, there's plenty in here. Of course, you have the glove box as usual, and it's pretty decent size. In the back, underneath the uh, seat, you have storage with uh, covers, lids, whatever you want to say on them. Uh, good enough to put some toe straps, gloves, or whatever that you uh, that you might need. Um, and then there's also some storage in the bed. There's a couple of compartments uh, uh, in the back of the bed where you can store really the same kind of stuff if you wanted. You wouldn't have to store it in the cab. Uh, and I may move them back there eventually if I have something else that I want to put in the uh, interior storage. Um, the doors, you know, there's cup holders and all that stuff. There's a center console that's you know, really pretty deep, about half of my arm or so deep. Plenty big enough to put stuff in. There are three cup holders in the center console and then some kind of square uh, area, I guess, where you can put change and other stuff. You could fit a cup there, a small one, uh, if you wanted as well. 
or maybe a square juice box. How's that? Not really into those myself. But anyway, plenty of storage uh, inside the truck. Even the uh, sunglasses holder uh, up here is big enough, it appears to me, to be able to actually hold sunglasses. Most times uh, you get these things and you can't fit anything in those. I don't know what the purpose is. Maybe to put some paperwork. I don't know. Um, the technology that's in the truck. Uh, they did a really good job with that too, I think. Um, I often complain about the, uh, the tech that's in the Tundra. And I think they've uh, kind of stepped it up or at least stayed uh, current with what's in the Tacoma. I actually prefer it um, to the look of the uh, of the Tundra and what it has in it. So um, I think they did a really good job there. Um, the design of the inside, I guess, and we're back to aesthetics as far as uh, what the interior looks like. I think it's your typical Tacoma seat with uh, their typical design uh, on the inside. I think it's probably the same as... Uh, either one or both of the Tacomas I've had in the past. So that's not changed a whole lot. Nothing wrong with it. Um, given the design, it's probably not a bad idea for a truck because if you get anything on the seats, uh, probably would be hidden pretty well with the design of the seat in this truck. So I don't have any problem with it. it looks pretty good to me. The dash and uh, gauge cluster is good there's a center screen in this thing where you can see tire pressure and um, other things there's a temperature gauge in there has an rpm gauge um, and also a digital speed readout i like that i think all cars should come with or trucks with digital speed uh, readouts just makes it easier to see how fast you're going and i think it looks better it looks more modern than the old uh the old gauge as far as the materials on the inside, um, they're not bad. Things are pretty soft. Things are hard where they need to be hard. The dash is padded. Uh, so is the center console. Everything uh, feels pretty good to me. So far, I've had this truck not a long time, a couple of weeks. And uh, everything on the interior feels pretty good to me as far as uh, how it feels when you touch it, if you will. The things that uh, need to be hard are, and the things that should be soft are. So I think they were spot on there uh, as well. Um, the bed size in this truck, I think for someone like me, you know, I never really needed a uh, full size bed. I don't use the truck for work. I don't live on a farm where I need to haul stuff all the time. So I think just the uh, convenience of a of an exterior hauling area for dirty things like mulch or plants or trees or whatever things that I might be doing around the house this is perfect for that the bed is not huge but it's big enough to accomplish uh, the things that I look to do and uh, one thing I'll mention again and I've mentioned before the bed in this truck is actually a composite plastic material uh, I've mentioned that before I remember way back on my first Tacoma I wasn't aware of that I thought it was a uh, a liner over a metal bed but uh, that's not true what you see in the uh, bed of this truck is what you get nothing wrong with it I've never had any issues with it so uh, it works pretty good for me anyway just wanted to get on here and talk about that for a bit overall I am very happy with this truck uh, it does everything I need it to do and uh, I'm pretty happy with the materials and the tech that, uh, that's included in here as well as the styling. As usual, please uh, click subscribe if you haven't before. Let me know what you think of the, the Tacoma. And uh, we'll see you next time on the web. Have a good day. Bye.